turns out this is not the first time a driver has gone crashing through a barricade into a crowd during South by Southwest. It happened four years ago. So what did the city do then? KXAN's Aaron Cargyle did some digging. Yeah, back in 2010, there was a very similar situation where a driver was trying to get away from police. He went the wrong way down a street, crashed into two parked cars, eventually drove through a barricade and crashed into a crowd of people here near 6th and Congress. This man was behind the wheel, 26-year-old Daniel Villarreal. He took off and a woman was rushed to the hospital with broken bones. Police tracked him down two months later. He's now in prison, serving out an eight-year sentence. This is video of South By in 2010. Today, Austin police could not tell us what changes were made, if any, after that. And when it comes to this week's deadly crash, the department says it's too soon to say what they'll do differently next year, but want the public to remember the crash was an intentional act of one person, and it's not okay to drink and drive. Jerry Murphy works on 6th Street and agrees. Well, I don't think that type of stuff should be tolerated. I definitely think someone doing something, that type of massacre, should definitely be charged to the fullest extent. At 9th and Red River, the city is already adding something extra. In addition to these, they're blocking off streets with these. The plastic barricades will be filled with water and weigh about 1,600 pounds, making them much harder for a driver to plow through. If I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I mean, whatever we can do to prevent from something like that happening again, I'm all for it. In downtown Austin, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News. One of the founders of South by Southwest, who now serves as the festival's managing director, had more to say today about what happened yesterday. Roland Swenson said he was out listening to music when he heard the news. He talked about his grief, but also his admiration for those who responded to the tragedy. In that horror, there was also greatness in that so many people responded immediately and began helping people as best they could. The professional first responders were there within, within minutes and undoubtedly saved people. Swenson also announcing a new effort to raise money to help the victims. It's called South by Southwest Cares, and you can find a link to that at kxan.com. It'll take you to this website where you can donate money. The money will go to those most affected by the tragedy. Representatives of South by Southwest, the Austin Convention and Visitors Bureau, and the city of Austin will decide how those donations get handed out. The effort has already raised more than $48,000.